Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to do kind of a general concept on how to change measurements when you're going from one dimension to two dimensions to three dimensions. Okay, so let, what you're going to do is you're going to take your linear measurement, which is one dimensional, and compare it to an area. Okay, you would take your units and find the unit ratio in area, you would square that unit. Okay, so let's say you have a linear measurement and you're changing it to a volume measurement. You would take that unit and you would cube it because volume is three dimensional. So you always go back to your original linear measurement, square it for area and cube it for volume. So let's look at an example of what I'm talking about. Okay, let's say that you have a rug that is one yard by one yard or one square yard. Remember that one square yard is just three feet on each side. So my linear measurement, it would be three. So if I have one square yard, one square yard, how many square feet would that be? Well, I'd take three squared or nine. So it would be nine square feet. Okay, let's say that I have the this and I'm going into three dimensions. So I'm looking at a cube that is one yard on each side, which is three feet. What would be the volume of that? Well, one cubic yard is equal to, remember the linear measurement was a one to three. We're going to cube three to 27. So one cubic yard is 27 cubic feet. And I've kind of drawn a little rendition here. If you think about a Rubik's Cube, you have 27 squares on it, right? So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You have 9 in each row and you have 1, 2, 3 rows, which make 27 little cubes inside of the Rubik's Cube. So that's how you convert and think about the ratio of measurements.